Okay, so we have Kyle Troop. Now, one of the things that we do, the shot repeatability analysis, we test them on short and long patterns. And Kyle rated one of the highest we've seen on the short patterns, but not as good on long patterns. So a lot of times we want to look at what are the things he does well on the long pattern, but what is he doing different on the long pattern versus the short? So if we take a look at Kyle here on the side view, and if we just do it on regular speeds, kind of blowing, blowing through here, Makes the shot is very fluid, very smooth, and has very good aggression or acceleration there right at the end. You can see his head stays very level as he drives into the finish. Now I'm going to kind of slow it down a little bit here. Very smooth and drives into it. So right here, if you start, it almost would be like a one-handed bowler. You're not going to see a lot of changes because of the two-handed. Very smooth and drives into the finish. So what is different between Kyle on his short pattern versus the long pattern? So let's go ahead and take a look at his alignment here from the front. And what we're gonna see here is kind of a little different is that as Kyle starts to take the ball and pushes it away, he's gonna do what we generally would tell all one-handers and such, is gonna be pushing the ball straight up the lane. So you can see that his ball, he's pushing the straight up the lane, which generally is what we wanna do. And he's gonna be doing that on the short pattern. But as he comes into his launch angle at this point right here, the angle is going at this angle down the lane. So he's actually going more angle through the front part of the lane. So what we want to be able to do to help him duplicate what he is doing on the short pattern with the long pattern is that one of the things we want him to do is we want him on that push away to emulate the push direction that he's going to have on the launch angle. So right now he's pushing it straight up the lane, but he changes the angle right there. So one of the things that we end up working on with Kyle is to get him to actually push the ball more to his launch angle, not to the target, that's gonna be a misconception, but more to the launch angle being a two-handed player. We take a look at his back view here, and you can see it again. Now most one-handed bowlers and everything, we do want you pushing the ball straight up the lane, and he does it well. But being a two-handed player, it's hard for him to get open for his launch angle. So we look at this angle right here. And that's the angle that we want to be able to see him on his push away. Again, this is for two-handed players only. One-handed players, you want to be contemporary, push it straight up the lane. If you watch Kyle's footwork here, one of the things that's really good too, as far as a two-handed player, he gets that step in front, he keeps everything in line. Very good direction on his footwork, drives into the finish. So if you've seen it from this point on, you would not know that Kyle is a two-handed bowler. So I think one of the key points of a two-handed bowler, especially the modern one, he takes the good parts of the one-handed bowler and combines them with the power and the versatility of the two-handed player.